The movie opens with an 11-year-old boy named Felix Frontman fantasizing about flying an aircraft in his dream. His clumsy father Peter Frontman wakes him up in a rush for Felix's first day of school. The father-son duo lives alone in a messy apartment. On the way to school, Peter shaves his beard while driving the car and calls the school to inform them about Felix's late attendance. Felix, on the other hand, keeps playing video games on his smartphone, the reason he got expelled from his previous school. It turns out that Felix's ambition is to become a pilot. He has been expelled from every school in the city and only has this last school left called the Otto Leonard School. Upon entering the school, they are confused to see it deserted. Just when they are about to enter the teacher's room, the eccentric schoolkeeper Michaelski stops them, explaining that the room has been closed for many years. Felix and Peter then walk towards the principal's room. After making them wait for a while, the principal Dr. Schmidt welcomes them, explaining that regardless of Felix's background and previous achievements, he is allowed to prove himself. Moreover, she clarifies that Felix's academic performance will be evaluated within three months and that he must pass two exams by then to get enrolled. When Peter asks her why the school is so silent, Schmidt reveals that discipline prevails in the school and no sort of enjoyment is allowed. After the father and son leave the office, school inspector Henning shows up to meet Schmidt, but she refuses to meet him due to her busy schedule and punctuality. Henning is exasperated by her stern behavior and leaves in a fury. Meanwhile, Peter guides Felix not to worry about the principal's weird attitude and suggests Felix start picturing her naked if she tries to be rude to him. Felix enters his classroom and finds a boy named Mario flying a drone. He tries to befriend him, but Mario is a spoiled brat who starts calling him a trashy kid. When Felix introduces himself, Mario and his friends Robert and Chris start mocking him for his weird last name. Just then, Schmidt enters the room. She assigns Felix a seat next to Ella and calls him to the board, asking him to draw an isosceles triangle. Upon seeing Felix's poor math skills, she is perplexed and disses him in front of the entire class. Upset, he leaves the class and is consoled by Ella. Mario and his friends drive Ella away and trap Felix, daring him to break into the old teacher's room after dark in order to become a part of their group. When Felix hesitates, Mario and his friends call him a chicken. While doing homework at night, Felix contemplates whether or not he should attempt to enter the haunted room. In the end, he decides to follow his guts and he heads out for school. Meanwhile, at the school, Michaelski advises Schmidt not to work till late. Schmidt dismisses his advice and keeps marking papers. Once Michalski goes home, Mario tells Felix that the old teacher's room is haunted by the former principal Holda. Desperate to be a part of Mario's group, Felix bravely enters the haunted room and is amused by the cool art pieces. He starts playing with an antique golden ball next to the school founder Otto Lienhardt's portrait. Meanwhile, Schmidt overhears some noises and decides to check. Upon entering the haunted room, she is surprised to find Felix in the forbidden part of the school in the middle of the night. Furious, she scolds him for breaking the rules while being a probationary student and threatens to call his parents. Scared, Felix starts mumbling, wishing for Schmidt to turn small while the antique ball rotates in a bowl. All of a sudden, his wish is granted and Schmidt disappears into thin air. Felix is confused at the disappearance, unaware that Schmidt has shrunken into a mini-size. Just then, Mario and his group enter the room and are impressed by Felix's bravery. Just before Felix could leave the room, Schmidt jumps into his backpack to get out of the haunted room. Felix tries to sneak into the house quietly, but catches Peter's attention. Troubled, he talks to his father about the mischievous boys who set him up with a dare. While Peter comforts him, the tiny Schmidt manages to get out of the backpack and ends up getting Felix's chewing gum stuck on her head. Desperate to pee, she rushes to the bathroom, but finds it difficult to reach the toilet seat. Meanwhile, Felix's mother Sandra starts video calling Peter. It is revealed that Peter agreed to send Sandra to the States so she can work on her research while he looks after Felix. Sandra quickly deduces that Felix is disturbed after looking at his grumpy face. She starts panicking but Peter assures her that Felix will do just fine at his new school. Meanwhile, Schmidt takes a pee in a tree pot, which ends up spilling on Peter's jeans when he picks up the pot. The following morning, when Felix wakes up from his alarm, Schmidt reveals herself to him. At first, Felix thinks that he is having a nightmare, but soon realizes that it is reality. He gets dressed and carries her to the dining table. Schmidt is disgusted to see the mess and demands a special kind of breakfast. When Felix does not take her seriously, 
she asks him to take her to school. Just then, Peter appears and Felix quickly hides Schmidt by sandwiching her between two slices of bread. Peter is surprised to see Felix preparing a curd sandwich and offers to cut it in half. Felix instantly stops him from doing so and leaves for school. On his way to school, Schmidt berates him for ruining her clothes by drowning her in curd and threatens to expel him. This infuriates Felix and he dumps the sandwich in a trash can. However, when he sees a trash truck taking out the trash, he changes his heart and takes out the sandwich. Upon arriving at the school, Felix dry cleans Schmidt's clothes while she covers herself with a tissue roll. He decides to take her back to the old teacher's classroom and try to get her back to normal. Meanwhile, Henning shows the old teacher's classroom to some wealthy donors, telling them that with their aid he will replace this old classroom with a great club for the students' parents. At the same time, the donors' daughters start looking at the appealing golden ball that keeps revolving in a bowl. Suddenly, the bowl catches fire. In an attempt to blow off the fire, Michael Ski uses a fire extinguisher and ends up foaming the faces of the donors' family. Just then, Felix enters the room and finds Henning and his guests covered in bath foam. Following Schmidt's instructions, he informs Henning that he is banned from the school premises by Schmidt. Henning cunningly tells Felix to deliver a message to Schmidt that his son Mario will be dropping out of school soon. This way, the school won't have the appropriate capacity of students and will be shut down soon. Confused, Felix confronts Schmidt about it and finds out that Henning wants to turn the school into an elite school. Bewildered, Felix tells her that this is the last school that he can study in the city and that he really does not want it to close. He suggests that if Mario leaves, she will be only one student short and that she must enroll him. However, Schmidt remains adamant that she won't break the rules and will fail him if he flunks the exam. Exasperated, Felix puts her in his pencil pouch and takes her to the class so she can help him during the exam. Before the exam, Ella tries to ask Felix why he switched schools but Felix does not tell her the reason, saying that it is personal. Finally, the math exam commences and Felix insists Schmidt helps him ace it. During the exam, Ella is weirded to see Felix talking to his pencil case. Just then, Mario sneakingly hands his exam paper to Felix, giving him the second dare to attempt his exam paper as well. Schmidt explains to Felix not to attempt Mario's paper as he is Henning's son. However, she agrees to help Felix solve his exam. After the exam, Felix opens his pencil case outside the school, only to find his fountain pen leaking and Schmidt covered in ink. He tells her that he will get her back to her normal size only when she enrolls him into the school. Schmidt asks him to get her new women's clothing to make her look presentable. At the same time, Ella watches Felix talking to his pencil case from a corner and decides to follow him. Felix goes to a toy shop to buy a doll whose clothes he can use for Schmidt. Ella shows up there and is surprised to see him buying a doll. Felix manages to stall her questions and heads to school. Ella decides to accompany him despite his reluctance. When Felix tries to elude her, he ends up crashing his skateboard. Scared, he quickly checks on Schmidt to see if she is alive. Just then, Ella encounters the tiny Schmidt and is surprised to see her. Meanwhile, at the school, the parents protest at the construction and are desperate to meet Schmidt. Just then, Felix and Ella arrive and take Schmidt to the old teacher's room. Felix tries to recreate the situation and starts chanting the same words but wishing Schmidt tall this time. However, when the magic does not occur, Felix realizes that it has something to do with the golden ball. Schmidt tells him that the ball belongs to Otto's collection and that she has notes related to it at her house. Meanwhile, at Mario's house, his father Henning is excited to be a part of the executive board, which will increase his pay. However, when he finds out that there is a new student at the school, he fears that it will become difficult to shut it down. He decides to meet Schmidt and make her an offer. On the other hand, Felix and Ella take Schmidt to her house to find Otto's notes. Inside the house, Felix finds out that Schmidt won a physics prize but wasn't able to continue her research work. Ecstatic, he tells her that his mother has been doing the same research in America. Schmidt then guides them to the cupboard that has Otto's notes. Upon opening the cupboard, the entire cupboard crumbles apart. After going through a few notes, Felix opens the golden ball only to find ashes in there. Suddenly, Otto's spirit emerges from the ashes, telling them that his time is coming to an end and that his life's work is in danger. He informs that he is going to brew a magical elixir that will transfer his spirit to the school in order to fight anyone who dares to optimize his ideas and teaching methods. Following a recipe, Otto prepares the elixir and gulps it immediately. 
Suddenly, his spirit disappears and Felix and Ella realize that the school was not haunted by Holdup, but it was haunted by Otto. Just then, Schmidt is heartbroken to find out from Felix and Ella that most students hate her. Felix then takes Schmidt to his house so she can sleep and figure out what to do with the school. Henning shows up at Schmidt's house and leaves the offer letter in her letterbox when she does not open the door. At night, Felix works on the school's map, understanding Otto's vision for the school. In the morning, he and Ella wake Schmidt up and tell her that Otto was working on building a playground in the basement. Schmidt disapproves of it. Felix then takes her to the school and she signs Felix's enrollment papers to save the school. Later, the exam results are announced and Mario and his group flunk it. Furious, Mario attacks Felix for not doing his paper right. When he checks Felix's bag, he finds Schmidt and considers her a dumb doll. Teasingly, Mario takes Schmidt with him until Felix comes up with a solution to his failure. At home, he is surprised to see Schmidt shrink to six inches. When Schmidt berates him for not taking the exam himself, he starts torturing her. Just then, Ella shows up at his house and stalls him so Felix can sneak into the house and save Schmidt. Meanwhile, at the school, Henning arranges a conference to decide the fate of the school. Felix and Ella take Schmidt to the old teacher's room, requesting Otto to upsize her so she can tell the school board that she has enough students to keep the school open. However, when the magic does not happen, Felix bursts into the conference, showing Henning his enrollment form. Henning considers the form fake and announces that Schmidt accepted his promotion offer, agreeing to close the school. He then enters the old teacher's room and Otto furiously shrinks him to the size of Schmidt. Henning is surprised with what just happened, and Schmidt explains to him that he has also been cursed. Suddenly, the floor opens and Schmidt and Henning sink into it. Ella rushes to Felix, telling him about the situation, but Felix blames Schmidt for selling the school and he gives up on her. Inside the basement, Schmidt and Henning find Holda's skeleton. It turns out that she was shrunk and locked in the basement when she jeopardized the school's future. When Felix bails on Ella, she takes it upon herself to rescue Schmidt. She goes into the basement in hopes to save Schmidt, but is trapped by Mario and his gang. Meanwhile, Felix returns home and asks Peter to let her speak to his mother. While telling Sandra about his school situation, he realizes he must not leave Ella hanging. He rushes to the school basement and blows Mario's gaff in front of his gang members, Robert and Chris whom Mario looks down on since they are not rich. Robert and Chris side with Felix and Ella, breaking up with Mario. The four of them set out on a quest to save Schmidt. Through the old school course, they enter the geography room and pass the riddle, entering a math room. Before saving Schmidt and Henning from the fire, Felix asks Schmidt about her promotion offer. Schmidt reveals that she took the offer very long ago when the students were an obstacle for her. However, now she is fond of them and does not want to close the school. They soon pass the math test and approach Schmidt and Henning, saving them from fire. Felix asks them to swear that they will not shut the school. The two of them do as told and end up getting maximized. The entire situation makes Schmidt kind-hearted and she starts being nice to Mikulski. The film ends with Sander arriving at the school to celebrate Felix's enrollment and Schmidt making an announcement that the school will observe a fun period for the kids. This movie has a rating of 5.2 on IMDb. I hope you all liked this video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until then, bye-bye.